I made some homemade pumpkin seeds. I'm chewing on those. Top three ways to not get paperwork in the Air Force. The number one key to not getting paperwork when you fuck up is diversion of responsibility. Everyone does it, so you shouldn't feel guilty for it, okay? Everyone makes mistakes, but the Air Force is very strict about trying to, you know, put the blame on the on the little guy, right? Me being a senior airman, I've dealt with this firsthand. So, how do you deal with that? How do you deal with leadership always trying to blame, 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 right? What you can do is, first thing, get as many people involved before you do something stupid. So, for example, uh, I run, so, and this is more specifically for like medical and administrative things, you know? If you're out like, you know, working on some plane, I mean, you have a question. I don't know. I've never worked on the flight line, so I can't speak on that. But when it comes to, like, computer things, um, sending, receiving stuff, like supplies, um, working on patients and stuff like that. I work medical, so. Um, it's easy to get more, more and more people involved. And they actually want you to do that. That's, that's something that they want to see is if you don't know something, ask. Um, get your uh, if you can get your supervisor involved. Don't you don't want to get your supervisor involved if it's if you already made the mistake and you're trying to fix it because then that's when you might get paperwork. Uh, especially if it's something you fucked up on before. So if you make the same mistake twice, you're likely to get an LOC at that point. Um, so. Getting people involved would be like your coworkers. Um, if they know something about it that you don't, say, hey, I'm going to do this. Do you think it's a good idea? Yes or no? Right? I'm going to say, oh, yeah, do it. Okay. But key people you want to get involved are like section leads, um, possibly your flight chief. Um, your officer, whoever that is, um, getting their opinion before you do something stupid is a great idea before you do something retarded, okay? Uh, second thing, not get paperwork. Um, if you already fucked up and you found out that you fucked up first before your supervisor did, good news, you might be able to cover it up. How do you cover something up in the Air Force? You don't have to cover it up completely. You just have to cover it up enough so it looks like you did the right thing. Um, the ways you can do that are... What the fuck are my keys, bro? Anyways, the way you can cover yourself and cover your own ass is do everything you would do to resolve the issue if and act as if your supervisor told you to do that. So you, if you already know how to solve a problem, solve it. Don't get them involved. Because the more, after the mistake is already made, the more people that know about it, the more likely you are to get paid for it. Um, there's a uh, saying, solving problems at the lowest level. You don't want your leadership to know about little itty bitty mistakes that you make. So, and number three is to just, um, if you really don't know, don't do it. Uh, because you can always play dumb in the Air Force. Uh, someone knows better than you. And if you don't know, you can say, well, oh, I don't, I don't know how to do that. I wasn't trained. Or, oh, I don't know how to do that. Nobody showed me how to do that. You can always pull that shit, especially as an airman. You can't get away with it as an NCO, but you can as an airman. So, I would pull that card a lot, especially when I was just brand new to a base. Um, it was really easy to fuck up and then get away with it because I didn't know certain things. But yeah, top three ways to not get in trouble.